What is the difference between the rapture and the second coming of Christ? In the study of eschatology, end time events, the rapture and the second coming of Christ are often confused because they are similar. They are both often referred to as the second coming of Christ. However, there are some marked differences between the two and believers need to be acquainted with them. The rapture and the second coming of Christ are not the same and should not be confused. First, according to the sequence of end time events, the rapture will take place before the Great Tribulation, while the second coming of Christ will be a post-tribulation event. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 9 says, For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with Him. This means that the rapture will take place before the Great Tribulation, so that believers can escape the wrath of God which will be poured upon the earth. In agreement to this, Revelation 3 verse 10, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Conversely, the second coming of Christ will take place at the end of the Great Tribulation. It will be a period when Christ will come to save the remnant of His people from the tyranny of the enemy nations. At the rapture, Jesus will return for His saints, while at His second coming, He will return with His saints. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 16 to 17 says, For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. The concern of Christ during the rapture is not the whole world, but the believers alone. The rapture will be a great separation of all believers from unbelievers. But at the second coming, Christ is not coming for the believers. Rather, He is coming with His saints, according to the prophecy of Enoch in Jude 14 to 15, which reads, And Enoch, also the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Again, at the rapture, Jesus will not descend to earth, but at the second coming, he will descend to the Mount of Olives as a prelude to his earthly reign. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 17 to 18 says that we will be caught up to meet the Lord in the air, that means at rapture, believers will go up to meet the Lord, but at the second coming, Christ will come down to war against unbelievers. He will descend on the Mount of Olives, according to Zechariah 14 verse 4, which says, And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west, and there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north, and half of it toward the south. The rapture event will be very sudden. According to 1 Corinthians 15 verses 51 to 52, it will happen in the twinkling of an eye, and only the believers will see Jesus. 
But all eyes will see Jesus at his second coming. They will see him in the greatness of his glory and as the judge of the earth. Revelation 1 verse 7 says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Another difference between the rapture and the second coming is that at rapture, Jesus will bring a blessing for his saints, while at the second coming, he will bring judgment for those who have rejected him. The rapture will bring great joy to the people of God. It will mark an eternal separation of God's people from the suffering of this evil world. Again, the rapture will feature the judgment seat of Christ, where believers will receive their reward for living for God on earth, and they will also partake in the marriage supper of the Lamb. But the second coming of Christ will bring great sorrow to the ungodly. The ungodly will face the brutal judgment of Christ because of their unrighteous deeds. Revelation 19 verses 19 to 21 then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to wage war against the rider on the horse and his army. But the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet who had performed the signs on its behalf. With these signs he had deluded those who had received the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The two of them were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. The rest were killed with the sword coming out of the mouth of the rider on the horse. And all the birds gorged themselves on their flesh. Another notable difference between the rapture and the second coming is that the rapture could happen at any moment. That was the reason Jesus said, we must keep watching because we do not know the hour when it will be. Matthew 24 verse 42 Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But the second coming of Christ has to happen after certain events have occurred, such as the great tribulation and the acceptance of the mark of the beast. Matthew 24 verses 29 to 30 says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. We do not have to fear any of these if we are living our lives according to the commandments of God. It is better for Christ to come for you at rapture and come with you at his second coming than for him to come for you at his second coming. Are you ready? The finale of this whole episode in human history is explained well in John 14 verse 1 to 4. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Stop focusing on signs and trying to pinpoint a date. And focus on your relationship with Jesus.
Ultimately, that is the only thing that will matter for all eternity.